Want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up listening to Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Uh, this is the first book in, I don't know how many books there are because I'm not finishing them. This was atrocious. This is one of the worst books I've ever read in my life. Top three. I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to think of a book that I've liked less than this. I mean, I guess maybe the first binding, uh, but I dislike that because it was a ripoff. I mean, this was just, this was a unique story. Um, I just feel like I, I don't enjoy living on this earth anymore uh, because I, I pressed through it. I finished this book and I should have DNF'd this book like five pages in. I mean, you, you, sometimes you know that a book's just not gonna be for you. Uh, but I've DNF'd multiple books lately. I felt bad about it and I was like, look, I love Jay Kristoff. Uh, Empire of the Vampire is like awesome. Uh, it's, Empire of the Vampire is really good, but this one is just so bad um, that I just, I can't, I can't do it. And everything about it's bad. I, I just, the writing is atrocious. I'll start there. Um, I don't know what happened um, because I, I thought that the writing quality uh, in Empire of the Vampire was one of its strong points. And I, this is horrific. I get that this book came out first and you know maybe he improved as an author, but that improvement or the fact that he was just held back to the level that he was is starting, starting, I, I can't even talk straight. Uh, I can't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm really flustered. Uh, I, I, I feel so upset about what I just read. I mean, it starts off with this girl who's an assassin and you're supposed to just know that the girl's just like a, like super awesome and badass. And sometimes like middle-aged guys maybe shouldn't write POVs of, of young women because he doesn't understand what it's like to be a girl or how to write one. Uh, at all. It came off so unbelievably poor. I mean, first off, there's, it's like smut. I mean, the level of like sex in this is way too much and it's just cringeworthy. I mean, I don't love sex in my books that often. I think oftentimes they're poorly done. This is like the worst and it, it's, it's so badly done. I mean, the amount of like similes and just really horrible, horrible turns of phrase are so constant through this that if you like that kind of writing, um, you know, adjective after adjective, overly done, way too much descriptions, huge info dumps, then I, you know what? I got a book for you. It, I mean, it's something special if that's what you're looking for. Uh, so the writing quality, absolutely downright horrific. Most of the book is horrifyingly boring. I, I honestly, I fell asleep reading this book five times. Um, I tried reading it at night, like sitting on my couch because I, I felt like I was going to fall asleep while driving. I'm not kidding you. So I couldn't read this book while I was driving. Uh, it just made me angry. I felt like I was getting road rage and somehow tired at the same time. Um, and I'm not like overdoing it when I say that. So I tried reading it at my house. I fell asleep like five times and I'd wake up and I didn't know where the book was supposed to stop, but it didn't matter because nothing happened for so many, so large portions of this book. It was like all this setup on trying to tell you how awesome uh, this girl is and how much of a badass killer she is. And it just, it's so bad. I mean, I think part of my problem was that expectation, but that's clearly not it. Because if I had no expectations, I would have still hated this book. But I thought I was going to get like an awesome assassin Hogwarts type of story. And it wasn't, uh, it wasn't that at all. I got info dumps. I got no plot progression. And I just was bored to tears until things actually moved somewhere. In the places that it moved, I thought were were horrific on their own ends, and ah, man, it's bad. It makes me really soured on Jay Kristoff, and you know I'm still gonna read the next Empire of the Vampire. Clearly, I like I really like the first one. I gave the first one a five out of five, um, but I don't know what happened. So, yeah, uh, did I hate this book? Y y yeah, uh, this is probably gonna go down as 
you know, bottom three books that I've ever read in my life. Um, certainly for this year. Um, I don't know if anything could beat the first binding because, you know, I, I'll never hate a book more than one that I feel like is stolen, uh, but this wasn't well done. So, yep, I, I hate it. I don't encourage you to read it. I don't know anybody that would like this book. Clearly people like it, but I don't know who would. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this early. I don't really have uh, much else to say about this thing. I don't really have anything positive to say. So uh, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching this really depressing review. And as always, happy reading to you. Want to give a special shout out to my ascendant tier patrons: Anna, Ben, CJ, Danute, Darren, Jamie, Maria, Michael Sugarman, my book is lit, Romeo, Mike, Ron Reich, Russell, and Sky.